Hi, Chanel from Tips and Tricks HQ here and in this tutorial we'll be taking a look at the basic setup and usage of the WP Express Checkout plugin. This is an e-commerce style plugin designed for WordPress that allows admin to create either digital or tangible products that they can then add to any WordPress post or page. The potential customers that visit the website can purchase an item using the PayPal Express Checkout Buy Now buttons where the entire transaction takes place in a pop-up window. This means the customer never has to leave the site during the checkout. So let's take a look at the simple setup and later we'll take a look at how a customer can check out with a payment button created with this plugin. So I've arrived in my WordPress dashboard where we'll firstly need to install our WP Express Checkout plugin. So I've gone ahead and I've installed and activated that plugin, but if you don't have it installed and activated yet, you can go to add new and search for this plugin from your WordPress dashboard or you can install it directly from the WP Express Checkout website. So once you've installed that and activated it, in your WordPress dashboard you'll see the WP Express Checkout main menu. From this you'll see four sub-menus, we'll be looking at the settings menu first. The setup of this plugin is quite simple and all you'll need basically is a PayPal developer account. So once you come to the settings menu, under the general tab, you'll need to choose your currency code. So that's just from the drop down menu there. You can pick between a number of different currencies. Your currency symbol. You'll see your thank you page URL here. So this is just basically a WP page and you can edit that from your pages menu, but ensure that you do not delete this page. Under the PayPal credentials section is where you'll need to enter in your PayPal Live client ID and your sandbox client ID. So both these pieces of information can be found in your PayPal developer account under the apps and credentials section. It's important that you put your live client ID in this field and your sandbox client ID in this field as mixing them up will not work. If you'd like to run live transactions straight away, ensure that you have live mode checked. Although to run test transactions for the time being, leave this box unmarked, which I'll be doing. If we scroll down further, we have the option to style our button. So this is what our payment buttons will look like on the front end of our site. So it gives you a bit of a button preview down the bottom there. If I wanna change that, I can alter it using the drop down menus. So if I want it to say pay, want rectangle, I might want an extra large button, and I might want the color of my button to be white. So I can go ahead and I can change all those things under that button style section. If you look at what the black looks like, the darker style button, it's up to you what you want your buttons to look like on the front end of your site, but this button preview basically shows you what that will look like. You can disable some funding options here, and it's also here that the very important debug log can be found. So if you need to troubleshoot anything, you'll need to enable this debug log and you can read more about the debug log on our website. So once you've had a look over that settings page and you're happy with everything, just go ahead and save changes. Then scroll up and we'll be moving on to the email settings tab. From your email settings tab, if you want to send emails to a buyer after a purchase, ensure that this first checkbox has been marked. Same goes if you wanna send emails to the seller after purchase. The most important thing on this page is having your from email address correct. So you'll need to follow the example where it's like your company's name and then it's sales at your domain.com. For this website, it would be plugin slash demo.com. So I need to ensure that this is at plugin demo.com, which is correct. If it's not, you'll need to fix that up followed by clicking that save changes button. If I go ahead and I click on the advanced settings tab, this is where I can find my price display settings. So this is an important tab if you need to alter the way that your price is being displayed. Some countries they list the currency symbol on the left, whereas other countries list the currency symbol on the right hand side. So if you need to alter anything here, again, make sure you save the changes to implement. So that basically sums up the settings of the WP Express Checkout plugin. We can now move on to creating our very first product. So I'll go ahead and I'll click that add new product button. Again, creating a product 
with this plugin is very straightforward. You can give your product a title, a description, you can scroll down, you can add the price of the product. Make sure that you don't put any currency symbols here, just your price. You can add a default quantity. So when they click that buy now button, if it's just one, they'll be purchasing one, or you can allow your customers to specify a quantity. So I'll allow them to specify their quantity. If it's a digital item, you can add your download URL link in here. So as I'm just selling a wallpaper image, I'll just add my wallpaper image and I'll also add that as my product thumbnail to give my customers a bit of an idea about what they're purchasing. So that's all there is to creating a product. It's very simple. I can go ahead and I can publish that out or I can save it as a draft for now if I wish to. Now that my product has been published, I'd like to draw your attention to the short code of this product. So I can copy the short code of this product from here, or I can go and I can click on the products menu and I can locate the short code of any of the products I've created from that short code column. So I just created the wallpaper image and I can copy that short code. It's this short code here that I can paste on any WordPress page or post to display my simple buy now button. And I'll go ahead and I'll show you how I can do that now. So I've copied out that short code there and I can go and create a new post or a new page to add it. So I might like to title this digital items as maybe I'll be listing some digital items on this page where my customers can come and purchase them. Then in my block section, I'll need to add in that short code block where I can paste in the short code. So I've gone ahead and I've pasted in that short code, WP underscore express underscore checkout. And I knew that my product ID was 512. So now if I go and publish out this page and I view my page, I can see that payment button there. So that short code just will implement the payment button and the quantity field. So my customer can click on the buy now or they can pay with their debit or credit card. If we go back to that page, I'll quickly show you a template option, which gives you the details of your product, the price and the thumbnail image. So template equals one. If I add that in and I update that page, you'll see that adding that parameter to that short code makes that product a lot nicer on the page. So now if I was a customer visiting this website and I wanted to purchase the wallpaper image, I was happy with the description of the product and the price, I could purchase it using my PayPal account, clicking that PayPal buy now button, or I could choose to use my debit or credit card. So for this example, I'll go ahead and I'll complete a PayPal transaction. Once a customer clicks on that payment button, they'll need to enter in their PayPal account and their password. Then they'll need to click the login button. The customer can then edit where they'd like the item to be shipped to if it's a tangible item and they can choose their method of payment. Once they're happy with those, they can click the pay now button. After a successful payment, your customer will be directed to that thank you page. On the thank you page, they can see exactly what they have purchased and they'll be able to click the download button for downloadable items. They can then get their downloadable file straight from that page. You can edit your thank you page just from your normal pages menu in your WordPress dashboard if you wish to, but just be sure that you don't delete that page. Now as admin, if you'd like to see any orders that have come through, you can go to your WordPress dashboard, WP Express Checkout, Orders menu. Once you click on there, you'll see your completed orders, which means they have been paid for. You can click on that for more details. You can see the price that was paid, the item that was purchased, and more details about the customer. It's here that you'd also find the address of the customer for a tangible item. So that pretty much wraps up getting started with the WP Express Checkout plugin. If you have any further questions or queries, feel free to contact us.